videos on camera, and then they wipe down, you probably have to build a new one, but I've never seen anything like it, and, and the whole world was laughing. Two days, three days later, I spoke to the governor, and the governor is, I think, on the call, and he's the next one guy. And all of a sudden, and I said, you got to use the National Guard to take numbers. They did it first, and they did. And I'll tell you that, I don't know what it was. It was, Governor, it was the third night, fourth night. Those guys walked through that stuff like it was butter. They walked right through, and you haven't had any problems since. I mean, they don't. They're not going to go there. Now they'll go to some other place. But once you called out and you dominated, you took the worst place, and you made it. They didn't even cover it last night because there was no little action. Because you dominated. You dominated. Now, what happened to New York, I have to tell you, I live in Manhattan. What's going on in Manhattan? I have no idea. New York's finest. they got to be allowed maybe to do their job. I don't know what's happening in Manhattan, but it's terrible. And because it's New York, because it's Manhattan, it gets a lot of press. So they, they really spend a lot of time on it. But New York has got to have to toughen up. And we'll send you National Guard if you want. You have the largest police force in the country, 40,000 people, I understand. But what's going on in New York is terrible. It's terrible. Of all the places. What went on last night in Los Angeles with the stores and the snow 